Hello everybody, Neil here from the Four Corners and welcome to a video talking about the original collectible items for Season 13. Season 13 or Master of the Mountain currently has the Shadow and Ivory Blade of Deliverance as the collectibles or the things you collect as you buy all the sets. But now with some concept art we now know that it was going to be much more different than simply some two Blades of Deliverance and it kind of looks like it actually has some value apart from having no power and just being relics. But before we get into all that, let's talk about the rest of the concept art that also released. First off, we have the Season 11 concept art, and for the most part, it looks like the Fire Chapter stuff stayed the same. It looks like the Shurikopter was planned earlier, and that stayed. But what's really cool is that we get to see a quad, or a giant buggy for Jay. And if that set was actually something that I saw in shells, I would buy that with my eyes closed. Literally, that actually looks so fantastic. There's also a dirt bike for Cole. And it looks like in the final stages, that bike looks less like an actual dirt bike. And now it's a bike with treads and everything. So it looks like Cole is always meant to get a dirt bike, just not the same design. We also see Zane fighting some Ice Samurais, meaning that he was never meant to be the Ice Emperor in the first place. There's Kai on this tower doing Forbidden Spinjitsu. And Kai didn't do Forbidden Spinjitsu in the actual show, so that's pretty interesting. There's some dude stuck in chains on the bottom, and there's also a ice army tank, making sure that these ice army guys actually have some technology to fight with. So that's also something that's pretty different. But overall, this has to be my favorite concept art, and that J quad looks so interesting. I really wish that was a set, and hopefully we get something like that in the future. Next up, we have this art labeled as the Empress, so it's probably early designs for Harumi, and she looks pretty cool. She kind of looks like she has a jetpack on the side. After that, we have some pretty old concept art such as the Season 7 concept art, and I really wish Season 7 had this kind of setting and it looked this epic, but really it was never really this epic. So I wish the season was able to capture the epicness that the art is trying to have, but nonetheless, the season was fine, but this concept art is fantastic. There's also Kai with his wrench sword, which looks pretty interesting, and then Lloyd fighting a Ice Samurai with this orange Ice Emperor in the background. He still has the scroll in his hand, but this time the Ice Emperor has some orange detailing, which looks pretty weird. Lloyd also has a sword in his hand when he has a different weapon these days, so that's also something different to notice. But now, coming to the main concept art we're really here to talk about, we have the Season 13 original art. So straight off the bat, I can kind of notice some Richies in the back, or those pink rats from Prime Empire. So those look like they got carried over to Season 12. And then we also have the Hero Armor Ninja, which look a little bit different than we thought it would. But there's also the main thing, the Skull Sources Dungeon, which looks just like it did in the show. And that doesn't look like it changed. And there's also this dragon in the background, which kind of reminds me of Grief Ringer. So this whole aesthetic looks very, very creepy. And the Skull Sorcerer seems to have purple magic instead of green magic, which is also something different. But the cool thing here is that there's so many easter eggs nodding at this never-before-seen collectible. If you see the map that Kai is holding, there seems to be a map leading to three different weapons, one of which which Zane seems to be holding, so there seems to be a magical bow and arrow. And another important piece of the map looks like a scepter, which has some music powers, and I don't know if that's a theme with all of these things. And then finally, there's this purple sword, which also looks like it's part of that collectible thing. If you look at the background, there's one more item signifying this collectible, and that is that on that stone, you see a place where a bow, a place where a sword, and also a very blurry place for that music scepter. And all of this kind of looks like it's in a video game. If you see that spot Zane's trying to step on, all of this feels like a video game level. It's almost like a season 12 and 13 mashup. For example, you have to fight the ogre over there, or there's almost a platformer level when you reach those swishing axes. So this whole thing kind of feels like if Season 12 and Season 13 were combined into one little awesome season. If you look at the background, the dragon is also chained up with eggs, which makes me want to think that Griefbringer was originally going to be a good guy dragon, which is also pretty interesting. But with that final note, that does wrap up this video talking about all of this new concept art. I'm really excited to see all of the things that Ninjago could have been, and actually that Collectomall looks pretty fun, and the Collectomall for once actually seems to have some value. Comment down below what your favorite concept art is. Mine is probably that Season 11 one because Jay had this awesome off-road buggy and I really wish that was actually a set. Thank you for watching this Ninjago 2021 information and thoughts video and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye